is a push now to get Congress to investigate the research of psychedelic drugs for a very important reason, to help military combat veterans. Let's bring my guest on it, Marcus and Amber Capone. They co-founded the nonprofit Vets Veterans Exploring Treatment Solutions. Uh, they're committed to ending veteran suicides, and they're both up late with me tonight on The Final Five. Thank you both for joining me tonight. It's good to see you. Good to see you, too. Thank you. Thank you. Marcus, you are a former Navy SEAL. We thank you for your service. Uh, when you go through what you've been through, uh, you found that there might be some help in a very unlikely place. Talk about that. Yeah, you know, I, I think uh, from my background of being a Navy SEAL, we always try to find unconventional ways uh, to solve problems, at least, you know, in the military. And as Amber did, as as uh, my uh, my wife now for 23 years. But, you know, when I look for healing outside of the military, it's very difficult. And I, you know, I tried conventional methods for years. We both did. And it wasn't until I found um, psychedelic medicine outside the U.S., you know, where it's legal, uh, did I find true healing. And, you know, our, our veterans shouldn't be fighting 20 years of war, coming back to this country and then having to leave the country again to find true healing. And so, um, you know, our mission is to bring that healing back to the U.S. Um, we need more research. We need more uh, federal dollars. Uh, there's just thousands and thousands of now, not only veterans, but as we know, uh, just Americans that need, uh, you know, healing with the pandemic and what we've gone through. And so, uh, yeah. yeah, what I found was uh, life saving, life changing, and uh, we want to pay it forward. Amber, we know that, that, that for, for military spouses, especially seeing the effects of combat service, um, you know, th there is a nobility in, in serving your country. But when you come back with things like PTSD, whether it be TBIs, uh, in your position, as you saw your husband deal with the after effects, what kind of went through your head? And at what point did something go off on your, your, your mind and saying, we, there has to be a better way? Yeah, I, I viewed Marcus as the most capable human that I had ever met. And whenever his struggles became seemingly insurmountable, I realized, like, I'm going to be the only one to get us out of this situation. There is no platoon to call. There is no commander in charge. Like, we've got to figure this out on yeah. our own. And um, I think for all military spouses who've served so uh they've served back at home and taking care of the home, the family. Um, this is certainly not a war that you envision fighting. And on the other side of service, you know, this, this should be such a rewarding time and an exciting time for us. Um, it felt like the wheels really came off and we were largely alone on this new battlefield. And so, um, but Marcus was worth fighting for. And we just figured out a way to, to not only help our own family, but, so many other veteran families who've given so much for this country. Just so we're clear on what you what you have found that worked uh, in 2018, you went to a clinic in uh, it was overseas or where was that clinic? Yeah, it was actually 2017. It was okay. in Rosarito, Mexico. And these, you know, these retreats and clinics have been operating for so many years. And um, you know, to them, it was just business as usual. But for us, you know, we don't hear about these medicines here in the U.S. It was and something, so, something know, called Ibogaine. Been working in the background. It was it was a, a, a treatment called Ibogaine, correct? And, and that is a naturally occurring psychedelic compound. Yes, that's correct. So Ibogaine is an alkaloid of a, a shrub that's grown in West Africa called Iboga. And um, it's just got profound healing effects. And, you know, as everyone's starting to hear and read and, you know, Michael Pollan's, uh, you know, documentary on Netflix and his book. And I think people are starting to realize that these medicines have been around for thousands of years. We just have to tap into their power and, and we need to do this correctly. We need to, to roll these out and they need to be, you know, there needs to be oversight and we need to know exactly what we're getting. And so we're not talking about recreational drugs. We're talking about, you know, medicinal healing. You both were uh, in D.C. just uh, fairly recently speaking with lawmakers, including uh, Representative Dan Crenshaw, who's a veteran himself. And, you know, we had a, a referendum here in D.C. a couple of years ago to, to legalize psychedelics or decriminalize them for, for certain reasons. Uh, there is a stigma. I think people look at them as, as you know, they look at them as magic mushrooms and really nothing more. Uh, as you talk to people, as you were here in D.C. and you had those discussions, did you find minds changing that there was a perception of what they were and what what they could do? 
I think so. Absolutely. I feel like when our lawmakers know better, they'll do better. And there's just a, a massive uh, lack of education. And when you pair that with the stigma that exists already around psychedelics, it's just, it's it's you know it's a steep trek to try to change people's minds. And the best way to do that is through education, mm -hmm. real life stories like ours, and um, so many other veterans, and the science. The science is backing up what we're saying. We just need more of it. A lot of veterans are excluded from studies happening in the United States because they have more than one condition. And so what we're lobbying uh, members of Congress for is is you know, not only to support Representative Crenshaw's amendment to the NDAA, but just to, to get more research going across the board and research that veterans can participate in. Marcus and Amber, I'm out of time, but if people want to get more information about vets and what you're doing, where should they go? VetSolutions.org is our website, and our mission is to end veteran suicide, whatever it takes. It's time. It absolutely is. Marcus Capone, Amber Capone, thank you both for joining me. Good to see you both tonight. Yeah, thank, thank you. you so much. Thanks for having us. Our honor. And the final five is back after this.